Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scarecrow for here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the High Mobility Multi-Purpose Wheeled Vehicle, HMMWV, also known as the Humvee. The Humvee is a family of light, four-wheel drive, military trucks and utility vehicles produced by AM General. It has largely replaced the roles previously performed by uh, various other light trucks before its time. It's primarily used by the United States military, and it is used by numerous other countries and organiza organizations, and even in civil adaptations. The Humvee saw widespread use in the Gulf War of 1991, where it navigated the treacherous treasure terrain. This usage helped to ins inspire civilian Hummer versions. After going through a replacement process, the joint light tactical vehicle JLTV was chosen as its as its successor. So the Humvee has been around for a very long time. It's started pretty well. I say a very long time, but compared to other vehicles, it hasn't been around for too long. Um, it first was entered production in 1984. It's still currently being produced. However, it is currently being phased out for more advanced and protective MRAPs. One of the main kind of drawbacks for the Humvee is its lack of crew uh, protection, which can, with the current wars and stuff like that going against IEDs and um, Stuff like that pose a serious threat and really kind of undermine the Humvee's effectiveness um, in protecting its crew. Um, overall, the Humvee itself, again, one of those super iconic vehicles. Um, it's still in service and plans on being in service for quite a long time into the future as they slowly and slowly get more, uh, as they slowly and slowly get replaced. Um, as of right now, there is a currently 281,000 that have been produced, uh, so that's insane. And um, all that fun stuff. So this uh, tutorial here is going to cover basically doing the standard version of the Humvee. And we're also going to be going ahead and doing a version with the machine gun and also the tow launcher. Which are basically some slight modifications of the standard model. So I'm um, going ahead and take a look here at our standard model. This is the M1114 uh, version of the Humvee. And basically you can see the standard version here. We don't have any guns, any armaments, or anything like that on the roof. It's just your pretty straightforward... Uh, you know, Humvee, nothing too crazy going on with it. Um, so really nice overall. Again, this is a, uh, you know, two to one. Uh, some of you guys did have questions regarding it when I did post a little teaser of it. And this is two to one. This is actually properly scaled um, as compared to the previous one, which was a lot bigger. So uh, this is the proper scaling actually for the Humvee at this scale. Um, we also have the um, machine gun version. So this here, as you can see, has the mounted machine gun up on top here and is uh, again pretty straightforward nothing real crazy going on with it and so it uses the same base body obviously and we just have a machine gun mounted on top and then as we move down the line a little bit further we also have the adaptation that has a tow launcher on top here to give it some anti-vehicle um, you know capabilities uh, but anyways that's pretty much uh, it for the Humvee that's what those are the three variants we'll be going ahead and covering in this tutorial in particular so let's go ahead and get started with building in the base model um, for the Humvee Alright guys, so going ahead and getting started with our first layer, we'll be going ahead and starting with layer number one. For layer one to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be placing down a block of coal right here like so, and then coming off of it, we're going to place down a lever. We're going to go and skip space over, place down another block of coal and another lever like that, save so these two levers that face upwards like so. When that's done, coming off these levers, we're going to place down a dark oak trap door, followed by a second one like that. After that's done, we're going to go and then take our nether brick top side is going to place down a row of two across like this, followed by a second row of two, a third row, and a fourth row across like so. On the sides here, we're going to place down a birchwood trap door, followed by one and two smooth uh, sandstone top slabs, and then a uh, wooden trap door like down the side. Same thing over here on this side as well, just like that. Once that's done, coming back here to this section, we're going to place down a block of coal on both sides here, and a lever like that, facing toward the middle like that. Once that's done, we're going to take our nether brick, and we're going to place down a row of two of narrow brick top steps across like this and then a birchwood trap door again to both sides. With that all finished on the back here we're going to place down a black banner come off these two birchwood trap doors and then we also want to place down a dark wood fence gate coming off this uh, dark or this narrow brick top slab here to the right uh, for where our spare tire is going to sit on top of. Now that's pretty much it for the basis here of the vehicle as you can see from up above. We're going to now uh, modify it or, or not modify it but we're going to go ahead and move into putting the banners making these banners here on the sides here for these wheels. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into those banners. All right guys, so to go ahead and make this banner design, it's real simple, we're going to just simply place down a loom. We're going to go and go in the loom, place down our gray banner, and place down black die across from, or in the die slot. We're going to go and do the line across the middle here of black die, and then we want to go and then do the border that goes all the way around, so just like this. We're going to go and grab that banner, and we then just want to go and put it on the side here of these blocks of coal. And just like this, around each wheel, and you have that design there for uh, basically these wheels 
Anyway, so that right there is going to wrap up layer number one. Let's go ahead and move into layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number two. For layer two to get started with here, we'll be going ahead and taking our looms. We're going to place down a loom block on top of these uh, levers, just like that. We then want to go ahead and go to both sides here. We're going to place down an upside down smooth sandstone stair here to both sides. And then coming off this sandstone stairs, we're going to place down an item frame and a snowball like that um, for the front headlights. After that, we're going to place down a row of two of dark wood fence gates across, followed by an end rod here to both ends of it, just like that. When that's done, we're going to go and take our smooth uh, sandstone blocks. We're going to place down a row of four across like this with a skeleton skull over here on the right side. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then take our birch wood planks. We're going to place down a birch wood plank here to both sides, like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone block to both sides and then a birch wood button here on both ends. After that, we're going to place down a birch wood plank, again on both sides like this. In the middle space here, we're going to place down a sandstone upside down stair to both sides, followed by a row of two of smooth sandstone blocks across in between those stairs. And then across the back here, we're just going to take our smooth sandstone blocks, we're going to place down a row of four that goes all the way across. Actually, my bet it's going to be a row of basically one block on your side and a row of two of birch wood planks across the middle. Once that's done, we want to go and then place down an item frame on these two uh, smooth sandstone blocks and in those item frames we're going to place down a red stained glass block and we also want to place down a birchwood sign that's going to be coming off of those uh, smooth sandstone blocks just like that. After that's done we're going to go and then place down a block of coal over here on the right side on top of that fence gate and we're going to go and then place down a uh, item frame with a gray stained glass pane in the item frame like so. We also want to go and grab ourselves a button and we're just going to place down a button on that block like that for the spare tire here on the back. And lastly, we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves a tripwire hook and place it down, coming off this uh, birchwood plank like that. And then uh, to finish it all off, we have a few more details here. We're going to place down acacia wood buttons here on these two smooth stone blocks like that to both sides and also coming off the side here of this um, sandstone upside down stair. And with that all done, that is going to wrap up this layer. One thing you can also do to close off the interior is to go ahead and grab yourself some black concrete and just place down... Uh, two rows of three of black concrete there to go and fill that space in. Anyways, that right there is going to complete layer number two. With that, let's move into layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be going ahead and taking some birchwood trapdoors. We're going to place down one and two on top of those two um, loom blocks like that. We then want to place down a row four here that goes across like so. After that's done, we're going to then place down a birchwood fence post on top of this skeleton skull. And we're going to go ahead and then take our light gray stained glass blocks, place down a row of four across like this, followed by a light gray stained glass pane to both ends of that row of four. We're also going to place down a dark oak wood fence, or dark oak wood sign, come off this light gray stained glass pane, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to go and then place down a spoof uh, sandstone block like that, back on both sides, and a row of two of light gray stained glass blocks in between. And then for this section here, we're going to place down a row of four of light gray stained glass blocks all the way across. And also on the sides here of these smooth sandstone blocks, we're going to be placing down a stone button, or sorry, just a birchwood button on both sides. Once that's done, we're going to go and then take our sandstone stairs. We're going to place down a row of three across like that. And we then want to go ahead and grab our birchwood trapdoors, and we're going to place down one, two, and three across. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down a birchwood fence post. And we're going to go and then place down another brick wall over here on the left side like so. And with that all done right there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number three. With that, let's go ahead and move into our last layer, uh, or our last few layers here, layers four, five, and six. All right, guys, go ahead and move into our last final layers. We have layers four through six. For layers four through six, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a flower pot on top of this, uh, on top of this birchwood fence post like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then take our birchwood trapdoors. We're going to place down one and two across, followed by a birchwood pressure plate to both sides. We then want to take our birchwood slabs. We're going to place down one and two birchwood slabs across, birchwood pressure plate to both sides here, and then two birchwood trapdoors here on the back. We're also going to place down a birchwood pressure plate on top of those glass blocks to both sides like so. After that's done, we're going to then place down a wither skeleton skull on top of this um, narrow brick wall, just like that. And we're going to then grab our iron bars and we're going to go up one, two, and three iron bars up like that for the radio antenna. With uh, that all complete, that is going to complete your base model there for the Humvee and um, all that. We're going to go ahead and now move into the version that's going to basically take this design and add a machine gun to the top of it. So with that, let's go ahead and move into the machine gun variant. Alright guys, so the machine gun version to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and go to this birchwood slab. We're going to go ahead and break it and place down a anvil in its place. 
from that, we're going to place down another brick up down stair coming off this anvil. So we're going to break that birchwood trap door. And then coming off that, we're going to place down one and two and rosin like that going forward. Once that's done, we're going to then take our item frames. So we'll go ahead and grab one from our creative menu. We're going to place down an item frame here on the side of this narrow brick stair. And then we're going to place down a black bed like that, turn sideways facing forward. We're then going to go ahead and go to the side here of this narrow brick stair here, place down a smooth sandstone top slab and then a powered rail on top of it. We're also gonna go and take a redstone repeater and we're gonna place it down on top of this narrow brick upside down stair like that for redstone repeaters like so. And so that's, once that's done, we're gonna go and grab ourselves a birchwood trap door, come off this sandstone top side, we're gonna place down a birchwood trap door and also coming off this um, birchwood trap door as well, we're gonna be placing down a uh, trap door. So just like that. And we do want these hopefully facing the same direction here. So I'm gonna mess with this a little bit to hopefully get this to work. So like this. And you have the trapdoors facing down the same direction like that. And on top of these trapdoors, we're gonna place down more trapdoors like that. And you have this, which creates kind of like the armor panel in here, to protect the gunner um, up on top here. Um, anyways, that right there is going to do it for the machine gun variant and modifying it. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff there. Let's go ahead and move into our tow launcher variant. And lastly, going ahead and moving on to our last variant for this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the tow launcher version. So for the tow launcher here, we're just going to be going ahead and going to this uh, birchwood trap door. We're going to instead replace this with a sandstone uh, wall like this. We're going to place down an arabic slab on top of it, followed by one that goes forward, and then we're skeleton skull come off the tip. And then toward the back here, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone slab back like that. Once that's done, we're going to take some wooden signs, birchwood signs. We're going to wrap around these two sides of this, this uh, sandstone slab. And then we want to place down one and two dark oakwood signs here along the side. Same thing over here, one and two. After that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick top slab like so. Coming off this uh, item frame like that. And then a uh, black stained glass block in, its, uh, in the item frame. And same thing on the other side here of this narrow brick top slab. On the back section here, we're gonna place down a dark liquid sign across the back here, and then we're just gonna place down a redstone repeater on top of this top slab with the notches flicked backwards like that. And once that's all done right there, that is going to complete the toe launcher version. And with that, that's gonna complete the three versions of the Humvee I'm gonna be covering in this um, tutorial. Hope you guys do enjoy the two or the three different versions are able to put them to good use. We have a nice mix of anti-tank and also uh, basically some infantry support with the machine gun one and just the standard Humvee as well. So definitely gives you some playability with those three options and um, overall it is really nice. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy the tutorial. If you guys do end up using this design, I do I say you guys give me proper credit for it. This has been thinking from a son of the build to make my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use for projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Um, other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, if you like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett24, and I'll see you guys next time.